Skin cancer, by far the most common of all cancers, as you often tell us, we all know the importance of protecting your skin from the sun. But when it comes to protecting your children, what's so different about baby versus adult sunscreens? Have a look. With one in five Americans developing skin cancer in their lifetime, protection from harmful UV rays is so important. And when it comes to protecting children from the sun, many opt for gentler versions of sunscreen labeled specifically for kids or babies. But what makes baby sunscreen gentler? According to a new study done by the Clean Label Project, nothing. The organization examined 95 of the best-selling sunscreens and sunblocks and found no significant difference between baby, kid, and adult versions of sunscreen. But when it comes to toxins, they did find something unsettling in many bottles of block, lead. Five of the tested brands had enough lead in a dime-sized amount to exceed California's mandated safety levels. So what's the best way to protect yourself from the sun? And is baby sunscreen just clever marketing? Join us now to shed some light on the study is executive director of the Clean Label Project, Jackie Bowen. Welcome, Jackie. Welcome. Jackie, we all want to do what's best for babies. What did you find? Is, is there a difference out there between the safety of the baby sunscreens versus adult ones? So the short answer is no, there's no difference. Clean Label Project tested the top 95 products, tested them for things like heavy metals, efficacy, um, antioxidant activity, sulfites, and what we found is no difference between baby and adult sunscreens. Is it so mainly just marketing? Well, that's what we, that's what it looks like based on just the differences and that's what the science suggests. Marketing departments can do a pretty effective job at selling comfort and security. For us, it's about looking at the science of what's inside. Yeah, and I, and I think it's important to point out the FDA actually doesn't regulate whether or not something is labeled for babies or even if something is labeled as hypoallergenic. They don't really, there's no true definition of those terms that we all see slapped on labels of sunscreen products. But I thought what was really interesting also about your project was this, this revelation about the lead content of sunscreens, which... For adults, I'm not super concerned about because it, it doesn't necessarily get absorbed through your skin, but when you're talking about kids and babies where they may be sucking on their hands and they may be ingesting that sunscreen, that lead content is actually really relevant. Absolutely. To your point, it doesn't really matter for adults about the lead absorption in the skin. It's just think about it. Show me a, a baby or child that doesn't put their fingers or toes in their mouth. And with reapplying sunscreen every two hours, that ingestion potential is something to be concerned about. Any difference if you buy an organic sunscreen? We actually found that organic sunscreens had on average three times as much lead as non-organic. Wow. Yeah, that was actually one of the most striking outcomes of this study.